Right, so these are pretty simple to take apart. I've already kind of started here, but you got four Phillips head screws and you just gotta pry open here. There will be a little ribbon cable that uh, connects this back panel with the connector here to the board that just lifts up and pulls out. And then this is the main camera unit. Um, there's a little ratchety thing here, but uh, pretty straightforward, it pops out. There's a spring and it's also keyed. And then, uh, yeah, once you have that out, you can flex this forward just a bit and then uh, pop up the locking tab here. And then that will disconnect the camera. So really the plan here is, um, you'll see on, I did a microscope shot, but you'll see under here, um, this is the RTC battery and it's it's uh, it's done basically, it's corroded. So um, I'll be replacing that with something bigger once I get a part in. And uh, yeah, that should get this thing back up and running, hopefully. Yeah, so here's the uh, voltage on that little battery here. It's been off for about two days. It's got 0.3 volts. Uh, super capacitors are connected in series. So right now they got about 0.11 volts per capacitor, which I would expect. So yeah, we'll pull that out and then get a replacement. So a new battery here. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything local, so I had to order it off Amazon. Just want to see if the voltages are good on this one. Yep, three volts. Perfect. So I will just be adding a couple of LEDs to it and then soldering it into the into the camera. And the battery is probably going to live there, so I'm just going to roughly work out how much cable I need. Give myself a little bit of extra. Love it, nigga. That way no one can say cut the green wire.
what I have found is that um, it's easier just to take the ribbing cable and uh, just try to get it in there first. Okay, once you got that in, the side is where the, the click wheel happens. Bring this little guy, which is keyed. Yeah, it's got keys. It's got a keyed position, so it pushes in. And then the uh, part that goes in the body. Just a matter of slipping it into place. There we go. So it just slides in there and then yeah, that's how this thing clicks. I think that's basically it. So um, I've got the back piece here that uh, just has the mount and the uh, pogo pin connector. So we'll just slip, slip that wire in. And the flex, as it were. Creative with your cable routing. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so I just routed it around and then that is actually good enough. Sometimes when going into plastic, it's easier to go backwards until you feel a little bit of a click and then drive it in. That way you're not making too many new cuts in the plastic and stripping it.
over, so that's eight. Basically it. See if it keeps its time. Light stays on so it finishes flushing its buffers. That's the super capacitor. Then it shuts off. second startup delay there we go time is kept so that's problem solved not too bad hope you enjoyed this video if you did like share subscribe look forward to seeing you in the next one thank you